This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. See, now I'm in a shul, and it's like one of these ad hoc minyanim, benazmana minyanim, there's like ten people off to a side thing, and they take out a Sefer Torah, and he opens up the Sefer Torah, and the Gabba is standing there, and everyone's standing around, and the Gabba says, Nu, Balkaira, Balkaira, and we're looking at each other, not a Balkaira. We need a Balkaira, we know that. And the Gabba doesn't give up, he goes, Balkaira, no, Balkaira, one guy comes up, he starts reading, and I feel like saying, hello, like where were you the first four times that he was asking for a Balkaira? Then he starts reading, and I understood. He interpreted the four questions as four separate questions. Is there a Balkari that knows Ivra and Trup? Okay, is there anyone that knows Trup and not Ivra? Is there anyone that knows Ivra and not Trup? Is there anyone that doesn't know Trup or doesn't know Ivra, but he's the best person over here? Me! And that's how he came. You know, a lot of times, we just have to know who we are and go with it. So, a friend of mine just told me a very interesting vart. Moror, the actual horseradish, if it's sweet, you're not yet, it has to be sharp. On the other hand, the salads that start out sharp, but lamaisa, they can't be sharp when, you, if, 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 when you're eating the salad, it's sharp, it's considered spoiled, you're not yaitza. So wait a second. The horseradish has to, be, has to be sharp and it can't be sweet, and the salad has to be sweet and it can't be sharp, and they're both mar. How can they both be mar? And the answer is that the halacha is teaching us, be who you are. Let everyone be who they are. There's a process for everyone. Horseradish, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be sharp. It's supposed to be sharp. It fades and it loses its sharpness. Salads are supposed to start out sharp and then sweeten off. Just be who you are. Don't copy someone else. So Shlomo Zalman Auerbach is about to start his seder and there's a knock at the door. There's an almona from upstairs. Unfortunately, it's her first Pesach as a widow. She's all upset. She goes, I bought these set Roman lettuce. It's full of worms. It's impossible to check it. And everyone's like, what's she making a big deal about it? Big deal? We'll, we'll give you plenty of others. We have stacks of Roman lettuce over here. Shlomo Zalman says, let me see them. Rebbe, it's late. It's Pesach. It's late. Let me see them. And he takes it from the almona and he goes to the window and he takes each of the leaves and he spends almost an hour plucking, 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 checking, rechecking. And he says to her, it's okay. I cleaned your mara. And she took it. And she said, thanks, Ralph. He understood what she meant. Mara is part of the Seder. But it's only part of the Seder. It's part of the steps that leads up to Shulchan Aruch. So you all know the famous story of a man who was never by a Seder before. He said, great, I'll get myself invited to a Seder. Here, there's great food. And the Kiddush, okay, not bad, but you know, you got a little angle over there leaning it over. And then there's like this, oh, this Haggadah that goes on forever. You know, forever, 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 forever. And there's all these rituals, people carrying things on their back. What is going on over here? Starving. And finally you get this tiny piece of potato. Oh, less than a Kazayas. Less than a what? Yeah, because you have to have in mind uh, to patter the mara. I don't know why. Because if you eat too much, you'll have a chiev by your nefashas. You get it? No. I'm starving to death. And he's trying to eat this potato. Not the whole potato. Look, i got to get out of here. got to get out of here. Finally, they wash. And they go, okay, you have to have three. You know, in order to be it's all the sheet ties, you got to put in like 16 matzahs in your mouth. Like, oh, my God, I'm like, oh, I'm starving. I can't do this. And now here comes the mara. The mara. Help! Steam coming out of his ears. Now, ah, now comes Kairach. Ooh, what's that? We take the matzah and the myrrh and we put it together and make a sandwich. I'm out of here! He's gone. And little does he know about the beautiful Suda that came afterwards. Gone. Forget it. All there is is a little bit of patience to wait out your myrrh. My myrrh can never be clean. My life is so bitter. It's not true. The mara is exactly where it's supposed to be. And we are exactly who we're supposed to are. We, who, we're exactly who we're supposed to be. And if we say, Hashem, I'm not looking for someone else's mar. I'm not looking to dump my mar. Just help me clean it, then you get the Shulchan Aruch. And you get a chance to even break off a piece of the Yafekaimen and put it away for later. Because the later gets even better and better.
You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.